What I decided to make for my disobedient object was this bracelet. Um, I thought it was really good because even though it's not something that would send a really clear message, you're still participating in something, something by wearing this bracelet. On the little, um, on these little beads, you can write a message to yourself or to the world and to the people who wear these bracelets. So I thought it was really cool because you could write messages on them and say you're supporting a cause even though you're not participating in an actual pro protest or anything like that. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I haven't written anything online uh, because um, I didn't know what I wanted to support. But you can write anything and you can make them in all different colors and all different beads and with more beads or less beads, however you want them. So I thought these were a really good way and they're cute and they're not too flashy. flashy. One of the good things with this bracelet is it's not tied to one cause. You can use it for anything you want to because it doesn't have anything written on it so you can write it yourself or you can just wear it as a sign that you're supporting some cause which I think is cool. But if you would want to write something on it, let's say you want to support the lesbian the lesbian gay Let's say you wanted to support LGBT. You could just write those four letters on here and you would be supporting them by just wearing this bracelet. And I know it's not a real form of protest, which means that um, it's not like you're doing too much for the cause. However, you are still supporting them by saying, look at me, I'm wearing this bracelet for your cause. And also, if you want to change the cause of the bracelet, you can just rub it off with your finger. To make one of these bracelets, what you're going to need is some bendy string, some beads, and um, scissors, and a marker if you want to write. Um, we also have some star beads, some pink and purple beads and some other colors. So you can really choose what you want to do. First you want to measure out a piece of string that will fit around your wrist or foot and that will fit all the beads that you want to have. Then you can just design a little pattern of beads that you want to use. Um, I'm going to go with purple. And um, now I'm just taking one of these beads, but you can do more if you like. I mean, it is a bit of a process making these bracelets, but I think I don't think it's too bad. And they're quite nice. So, I'm going to make one back here. And the good thing with these bracelets is that you can make them whatever size you want or whatever color. And they're also really simple to make because you can buy all the things either in a kit, like I did, or you can buy them from basically any haberdashery store or anywhere or any art store. And then the cute little bracelet I have on your wrist. Along with 
Okay, that's a little thick. So this is my product. It's super easy to make and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, but it's still support for a cause of your choosing. So you can choose it to be whatever you want it to be. And it's cute. Little kids can wear it. Adults can wear them because of their simplicity, even though they're quite childish. What made me have this idea was a trend that's been going around in Sweden lately that is these beads that a lot of Swedish children um, play with when they are young. And on, on some of the beads, it has different causes, like um, saying, fuck cancer, and um, other illnesses that you just want to raise awareness for. So I think that these could be a similar thing, and you can write on them whatever you want to. So that, that's what my product is, and I think that they could be quite cute and successful if people chose to use them. Thank you. The bracelets I was talking about earlier are made by a company called Childhood. They produce these bracelets to raise money and awareness for childhood cancer and other childhood illnesses that children have. They're just really cute, simple bracelets, and that's what I hope my bracelets will become. Mm -hmm.